of the guards said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Claimed it was one of those siege commanders. Man who needed to school my eyes. You're not one of my workers. What are you doing here? You hard of hearing. I run this smelter, and I'm late meeting our silver quota. What do you want? What? No. Thonar Silverblood owns it. He owns everything in Markarth. But he hands all the paperwork over to Nepos, the nose, to finish. That old man's back is heavy with burden. Every other day, seems one of the laborers runs off to the hill saying he'll join the Force Sword. You don't like the Nords? Fine. But pledging your whole life to killing them, that's just dumb. They don't like us talking to people when we work. Don't get involved in that nonsense. Just want to work. Mullish. Big orc fella. Can't miss him. Mm-hmm. Can't talk. Mullish will beat me if I stop working. Me and Hathrasil mostly. Mullish barks at us all day, but I wouldn't call that honest work. A few people in the Warrens used to work here. The game broke some bones a while back. Altris quit. Kareen is too sick. We've lost a lot of good people to that damn crusade. Drive out the Nords, they say. Well, the Nord ain't driven out. See you. I oversee Mark Arthur. Need something? By the gods, that man nearly killed me. You saved my life. Thank you. Here. I was gonna bring this to my sister, but I think you should have it. I've heard of them. Something about the men who live in the hills and attack caravans. I'm sorry. I don't know anymore. I'm just visiting here from Cyrodiil. No, I don't have any idea. I was just shopping for a pendant for my sister back in the Imperial City. God, a woman attacked right on the streets. Are you all right? Did you see what happened? The Force One? Strange. Well, I hope the Eight give you more peace in the future for what it's worth. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. Hmm? No. I was just getting some fresh air. Had one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. My note? No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. I'd better get going. Good afternoon. handle things from here. Move along. I said move along. The Forsworn are just a bunch of madmen. We have everything under control. Stay out of it. That's right. It isn't. Until next time. He... he tried to kill Margaret. Right in front of me. No. She's such a nice woman. Comes by every day looking for jewelry for her family in Cyrodiil. Is it because she's a noble? Why would anyone want to kill her? It doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. I don't think I can bear to sell anything right now. What's happening to this city? Did you see that, Madman? A forsworn agent. Here in the city. Think he worked down at the smelter. 
Lot of laborers there are sympathetic to the Forsworn. They promise people they'll kill off all the Nords that rule over the Reach. Nothing but murderers and saboteurs. Red Guard craftsmanship. Did you just see that woman getting attacked in front of us? We're closed. This has ruined my entire day. Did you hear all that noise outside? It's just the market travel. We should get back to work. You there, if you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Lisbeth handles the customers. I just check the shipments. No, I'm not Arnleaf. Yes, I know it's called Arnleaf and Sons. I inherited the store from my husband. His father was Arnleaf. My husband, Gunnar, died about five years ago for sworn attack. I miss that stubborn oaf. Oh, by the divines, is it that obvious? I swear, if my Gunnar was alive to see me now, this store would finally be on its feet if I hadn't lost my last shipment to the Forsworn attacks, especially made the Bella statuette. You aren't for hire, are you? A sellsword? I'll pay you if you can recover that statuette from the Forsworn. Thank you. I'll have a sum of gold waiting for you when you return. No, as if trade wasn't poor enough. Now there's violence in the streets. It was the Forsworn, wasn't it? I lose dozens of shipments every season to those barbarians. Now they're in the city? Gods help us. Come back whenever you need something. Feel free to take a look around the store. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. If I can't get you something, I'm sure my wife will bellow at me until I can. Did you hear? The Hall of the Dead is closed. Brother Varalis isn't the most popular man in town right now. Got a witch hunter in town from the priesthood of Stendar. Keeps asking questions about that old abandoned house. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Ha! Ah, Boli finally got someone out here. Well, it's about time. I've been waiting for weeks. Well, thank you for bringing it, I suppose. Have a good day. What? Oh! Oh! How could I have possibly forgotten? Your reward, of course. Of course. Here you are. So sorry about that. Remember, ale is cheaper than blood in Markarth. Alms. I said alms, you backbiter. Give a crippled worker a helping hand. Finally. Now get lost. Bring more gold next time. My father, Klepper, is the one you want to talk to. There's no shipments coming in, so I do nothing. Just drink. Arnleaf and Sons Trading Company. I'm a porter. Just some muscle hired to move heavy packages. But we don't get any shipments in. Forsworn attack every caravan. So all I do is sit here and drink. Arnleaf and Sons Trading Company. I'm a porter. Just some muscle hired to move heavy packages. But we don't get any shipments in. Four sworn attack every caravan. So all I do is sit here and drink. I think I'm going to get another drink. What can an old skull do for you, huh? That's about the truth of it.
Write tales about the sights I've seen, the battles I've fought. Earned quite a name for myself when I was younger. The Bard's College still teaches some of my work to their students. Good fighting to you. I'm what you'd call a soldier of fortune. <coughs> Make me an offer, and I just might fight at your side. Unlike my husband, Clever, I watch after our guests. I should you remind Clever to wife me. Place up. We'll handle things from here. Move along. So you don't know anything about this house? No. Anyone seen entering or leaving? These strange lights or unusual noises? It's abandoned, and it's always been abandoned. Excuse me. Do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? Seems no one in this city has. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. We believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. Evil rites and so forth. I was actually just about to head on inside. Be good to have someone watch my back. Follow me and keep your eyes open. Daedra are powerful creatures and tricksters. Never know what you'll find. <laughs> food. No wood rot on the furniture. Someone's been here. Recently. But the people I ask say no one enters or leaves. Wait, did you hear that? I think it came this way. That's it. Something's inside the house. Come on. We're getting to the bottom of this. There's another door. See if you can get it open. Stendar's mercy. This isn't an ordinary Tedra. We have to get help. Weak. He's weak. You're strong. Crush him. You first. Come on. Let's go. Someone there? Please! Yes, your reward is waiting for you, mortal. Further down. Yes, further into the bowels. So close, your prize is waiting.
still here. All right, what is it? What do you need? Can't do that. Sorry. Fool. Did you think Molek Baal, the Lord of Domination, would so easily reward you? What do you see from that little cage? Speak. Yes, it's an altar. Men would come and sacrifice the wretched in my name. The weak would be punished by the strong. But a Daedric Lord has his enemies, and my rival Boethia had her priest desecrate the altar until you came. Revenge? No, I want submission. I want the priest who did this to bend his knee and give me his soul. He comes by to perform Boethia's insulting rites at my altar, but he's been missing, captured and bound, left to rot. Save him. Let him perform his rite one more time. And when he does, we will be waiting for him. I'm sorry. We're only interested in helping our patrons. It's an old family, very well respected throughout the Reach. The Silverbloods run nearly all the lands in this hold, as well as the local inn. And of course they own Sidna Mine, the finest prison and source of silver in Skyrim. You want Thonar Silverblood. He handles all the family business. If you're here to talk politics, though, you'd want his brother, Thongvor. He spends most of his time in Understone Keep. For one, the landowners of the Reach. It goes without saying that they rely heavily on us for our silver and support. All the miners, farmers, and laborers in the Reach get their daily wages through us. Nepos the Nose handles that part of our business. He has a way with the workers. I have records I need to tend to. I work for the Silverbloods. Help clean. I'm married to Thonar Silverblood. Keep that in mind while you're speaking to me. He's the real head of this family. He may not be the eldest, but all the work that keeps us respected is handled by my Thonar. My dear Vagrant, we're the only family worth knowing in Markarth. We own everything in this city, even the jail. 
And guess who owns the Silver Blood Inn? Not that we named it that. The people just insisted. Yes, I was bored talking to you anyway. Thongvor may be the head of the family, but I'm the hams. Bloody enough for you, outsider. Markarth, is it bloody enough for you? If I was threatening you, believe me, you'd know it. You outsiders never learn. If the Four Sworn don't get you, the guards will throw you in Sidna Mine to work your fingers off. Think that's water in the river? Blood and silver are what flows through Markarth, friend. No, I live in a nice house in solitude, where the air isn't filled with smoke from the silver smelters, and golden-haired girls shine my shield. Been here ever since I left the Bard's College. Turns out a few muscles earn more gold than a damn loot. The Silverbloods pay me, let me crack a few skulls, and keep the guards off my back. That's all I need. Jarl is who you want to talk to. Always coined to be made killing off some Forsworn in the hills. As long as you don't mind going axe to axe with a bunch of Daedra-worshipping savages who practice the Dark Arts. It's right there in the name of the most powerful family in Markarth, the Silverbloods. They have a whole mine filled with prisoners to dig up silver ore, get smelted by workers they pay, and they own half the city. I work for them. The inn is named after them. When the guards make an arrest, they check with them first. Yeah, yeah. I'll marry you just on our silver Nana know Keep if you that need mind anything. you're speaking about. All right, dear. What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First, you take away Talos. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongvor. We're done. You there. You another Imperial puppet? Answer me! Finally, someone with decent sense. The Empire is destroying everything Skyrim stands for. Honor, pride, mighty Talos. Jarl Ickman can't ignore us for much longer. Not if the Silverblood family has a say. That's a true Nord hero. Legend. So great that the Divines themselves lifted his soul into the heavens and made him a god. He founded the Empire, and now they've turned their back on him to appease the Elves. <laughs> elves. Do the Elves rule Skyrim, or do the Nords? We own Sidna Mine, best prison in Skyrim and source of half the wealth in this city. We keep the Reach safe. We flood Markarth with wealth. But does the Jarl listen to us when we want to say? No. He's busy forgetting that Ulfric Stormcloak saved this city from the Forsworn. Ulfric's a hero, not a damn criminal. They started the Great War, nearly destroyed the Imperial City. Then the Emperor took the coward's way out, and surrendered. Now, Elves dictate everything we do, and they don't want us acknowledging a mere human like Talos 
as the god he is. He used the Thule, shouted those four swarm from the walls. Then he led a band of Nord warriors in to take the city, just like Talos himself at the Battle of Old Hraldon, reclaiming the reach from those heathen natives. Stay out of trouble in my city. Blood family will be heard. You're here to see the Yog. No sudden moves. Understand? Still here. I am at your command. You lead. I'll follow. excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. Nishuan Zell? The ruins underneath Markov? The wealth of artifacts that I've based two human lifetimes of research on? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work, and I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Thalmer Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. Preposterous. That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. What kind of a mentor would I be if I denied a potential student a glimpse of his master's ingenuity? Here, this key will provide access to my museum. Feel free to browse for as long as you wish. However, I must insist that my laboratory remains strictly off-limits. I've already provided you with the key to my museum. What else could you possibly want? Persistent, aren't you? Oh, very well. Who am I to stand in the way of curiosity? I'll let you in if you agree to something for me. There's a giant spider in the Chuan Zell. My workers call her Nimi, the poisoned one. If you deal with Nimi, I'll let you into both the excavation site and my Dwemer Museum. What do you say? Enthusiasm! Good. Here's the key to the dig site. Yes, their history and culture is all around us in Markarth. A race of stonecutters, artisans, and engineers. They invented machines and built elaborate underground cities where they researched powers to rival the gods themselves. And then, at a time we are still not sure when, they disappeared. The whole people, all at once, leaving behind only their works. You are? Very good. May I see it? Excellent. Very good. This is exactly what I need to complete a series of studies I'm doing on Dwemer craftsmanship and magical resonance. I simply must have this. I'll pay you double what it's worth. Well, I suppose important research is worth every coin. All right, you have yourself a deal. How's double and a half its value in trade? I'm glad we could come to an agreement. I was beginning to lose faith that any help would come. Ah, uh, you see, I've been thinking about Feline quite a bit. You know Feline? 
Then you know what her beauty she is. The trouble is that I can't seem to speak around her. My mouth goes dry, and, and I start to shake. I could never hope to approach her. That's the trouble. I know Feline from the keep, but I have no idea what sorts of things she likes. It's not a simple matter. I could offend her fairly easily by bringing up the wrong subject. I've seen it happen before. There is one, Ingvar. He's quite popular with the ladies. Thankfully, Feline is not quite his type, but they've been friends for some time, and he may have some ideas. Please, ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. 